Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to get my stuff set up. Well, hi. <laughs> Welcome to today's stream. <laughs> Let me turn this down. It feels like it's loud. If it's loud, I'm sorry. Um, since there's nobody here right now, I'm going to set up my TikTok. Let me actually, you guys cannot see me. Hi! <laughs> I'm going to set up my TikTok and we're going to get started. I wanted to just share, I want to draw. And I want to bring you guys along with me. And you guys can draw with me, you know? I want to bring this, my OBS down. It feels like it's just loud. What does this button do? Sound preference. Uh-oh. I did something. I don't know how to fix that. Oh, well. Let me get my TikTok set up because that also helps me to, like, stay engaged and talk to people. Oh, no, I'm on So that's not how you say that. Okay, Ian. I try. And you can go to material and just click any of these things. I'm gonna click pose, you might have something different there, but any hoodles. And then once that pulls up, you might get something that looks like this. There's a commercial. <laughs> you might get something that looks like this. I just click the 3D and then I click pose and then I click entire body. And then I have all of my like 3D models right here. These ones are the pre-made ones. They come with Clip Studio Paint. They're already they're already created, so I don't have to like build from scratch. I take it and I literally just drag it onto the canvas and ta-da! That's how I add my 3D models to my canvas. That's how I add my 3D models in Clip Studio Paint. There's um for like the next live stream I could show how to import it, but just for this one, I just wanted to show it everyone. I can't think <laughs> with the ads going. Things that do make me and then myself talking. Give me a second. Give me a second. I'm going to fix that. I'm going to fix this. What does this button do? Okay, you guys probably can't hear the music anymore, but at least I can hear myself think. I'm sorry. <laughs> I had to take the music off because, like, trying to think and talk at the same time was just like, ah! But any hoodles, that's how I go about adding my 3D models to my webtoon. To my webtoon. I mean, I do do that for the webtoon. But that's how I add it into Clip Studio Paint. I'll show you one more time. I find a webtoon in the material section that already comes built into the program. I take, I drag, I drop. Give it a second. Ta-da! This pose is perfect for this song. And that's how I put 3D models in clip studio paint from their material section now one other tip when I am posing my 3d models I like to click and you see these purple dots I will use these dots and I'll just move them around but usually I just try to find a pose that's as close to the pose that I already have I'll just scroll through here but I don't want to overwhelm I just I pose with the purple dots I could go in and do like that my new posing I don't want to do that we're not doing that today. And then one last tip before I get started into drawing because I need to ink this in. For the camera angles to figure out different dynamic camera angles or if I just want to like spice it up and I cannot think because my brain is going potato and I need a camera angle for a scene in my comic. I'll use the preset ones. The preset camera angles that Clip Studio Paint has. That way it can help me. It just helps me with my thinking. This helps for me. It might not help for you. I don't know you. But this is what I like to do. So yeah, camera presets. It's right here located in the little, the little camera right there. Boom. And you get all the different camera presets. Now, when you are using 3D models, with Clip Studio Paint, you have to like create a new layer to draw over top of the 3D models because you cannot draw on the 3D model layer. See? It doesn't give me the option to draw. So just a little tidbit. But in holes, let's go ahead and just start having some fun and just drawing. We're I'm working on Jaquan. Um, this is the pose that I used. This is one of the 3D models. I traced over that. And let me show you. See? Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. What layer is this? 
I traced over that to get this. I'm a very Frankenstein type of artist. I will just, I'll piece things together and I'll just create however I feel like. I go with my vibe and I'm chilling. I'm relaxing. I'm just vibing, you know? But yeah, traced over that. And then I traced over this. And then after I did those tracings, I got that. And I'm going to actually fix his shoulders because... I like wide shoulders, but they're up too high. And his arms are back too far, so it's making his arms look shorter than I want. So I'm going to do some editing. This is right here. What is this? I don't know. Let me put up my initial sketch. I did this one in October. And I did this one like a couple days ago. Oh, I talk so much. Let me check the comments. Sorry. Cat! Hi, cat! <laughs> Let me just move this over so I can see the comments. Perfect. There we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Chocolate. The pose is me running from my responsibilities. Pi W, did you combine them? Yes, I did. I just made a new layer. And I just, I just put them all together. Ugh, water tastes so boring. But yep, that's what I do. I'm a Frankenstein type artist. I'm going to figure out how to get this picture created in a way that I enjoy. You know, I just have fun. I like to have fun. So let's see. This is a sketch that I did of what I want his shoulders to be. So I'm just going to line this up. This is literally my process at the current moment. I'm going to lower the opacity. Okay, let me see what I'm working with. I'm going to make a new layer. Why? Because eh, I'm an anxious artist as well. I like to work in layers. And then we are just going to go in and I'm going to f adjust according to what I want. I want it to be like this. I want the shoulders to be more relaxed. So we're going to just round them out and just lower them like that. And that's one of the things with 3D models that I noticed what I like to do is I like to just kind of take away some of the, ah, that's the issue. I have the hand far too, way too up. I like to distort it. I mean, I don't have to distort it, but I like to distort it, you know, to try to get it that like anime type look. Let me make a new layer, duplicate. I know I'm working in so many layers. It, it, it calms my soul. <laughs> it calms me down. Okay. I'm actually going to take this. We're actually going to, that's what it was. It's the hand. The hand was way too like long for me. And I'm actually gonna bring it down like so. Yeah. Thanks, you gave me some great tips. I'm happy I could help. I'm happy I could help. Hi, Jill. Hi. Wow! <laughs> Hello! Welcome to the stream, you guys. Okay, where was I? What layer am I working on? Where's my... Let me name these. Hold on. Top draft. <laughs> Bottom sketch. There, I named it. Now I won't be confused. So she says right now, but we don't know until the future. That's so good. Thank you. I use 3D models. Not that you asked, but just in case you was wondering, I'm going to go in. I still like the wrinkles that I have here, so I'm going to keep them here. I'm just going to go in and just scribble stuff. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm thinking. I'm just vibing. And he has this thing, so I'm going to actually put that here. And then I'll take away from this layer once I'm done. And we'll put that here. Yeah, let's see what that looks like. I want to bring that up actually let me see and then we'll just like like that and then like that yeah we'll see how that looks after later just vibe go with the flow I could just like lean it down but I don't know why I just really want to have it bent you know it's I might just have it just like the, how I have my sketch. 
Why force it? It can just be just like how that is. You know, why force it? I really like how my sketch looks. I'm going to just line it up to how my sketch is. Go back. What draft? That one. Oh, jelly beans. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Sorry, I got a phone call. I'll call them back. I got a phone call. I wonder if they can see my live. They probably know I'm streaming. Hi, DJ. Hello. Hi. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to go with my sketch. Lower this, and we're going to redraw it. Ah, that's the wrong sketch that I erased. I named it, I still got confused. Oh, keys. Oh, boy. Sorry, the audio got to me. Like, oh. <laughs> you guys probably can't hear it, though, so. And then I want to still have his wrist thing here. So his, this is going, let me move this down. I'm going to move this hand down, even though it is anatomic, mathematically correct. I'm going to move it down anyways. Because I like it. I like how it looks visually when it's further down. Yeah, I like how that looks visually. My 3D model says, no, it needs to be here. And that's what I do with 3D models. I like to just, you know, it helps me as like to like figure out because I you know the whole condition and Fantasia to where you can't visually see what you want to create the 3d model helps helps my brain to see what it cannot see and then after that I just mess it up and just put it to where I'm like okay perfect that's what that looks like now we're just gonna squish it and move it around and make it how we like you know like when you make your bed and it's like beautiful and perfect or you make a yummy taco bowl and you layer each layer beautifully and then you look at it and you're like ah that looks perfect and then you just stab your spoon in it and you mix it around so that you can eat it or you jump on your bed and you mess up the whole blanket so that you can go to sleep that's how i am with my artwork in 3d models i get the part that i need and then after that if i like it i keep it if i want to like you know do some little different stuff because i'm feeling the vibe then i'll chop stuff up move stuff down my process is quite chaotic it is quite chaotic indeed trying to keep an eye on the live stream over here on my TikTok. Because I got the TikTok. Okay. I wanted. I don't know if I. Yeah, we're going to have one finger like out of the pants pocket like that. And then we're going to have this go right here. Put that there. Put that there. I like the thing going down this far. Why? I don't know. I just love it when the sleeves are, like, down here. You know? Hope you guys are having a good day. DJ, I finally get to use 3D models to make different poses to draw. Ooh! Have fun! Have fun! That sounds fun. Vibe and have fun with your art. I'm excited for you. And for those people who don't want to use 3D models, you do not have to. You do not have to. Don't 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 feel pressure to use what what don't don't just do what makes you happy. Cause I know some people are like, I don't want to use 3D models, honey. I didn't say you had to. You can be free and do whatever you want to do and use whatever you want. You do whatever you want. I just over here being chaotic and just showing my process. I don't like how that looks. It's like, what are you going for? I don't know. Oh, my computer is lagging. Taji, are the 3D models you use default modes? Yep, they're default models. And then also, um, if you're looking for like different ones, like, let me show you. This one is the default model that came with Clip Studio Paint. And this one came is came with Acon 3D because there's other websites that offer 3D models that different creators have made to be sold and you have there's licensing rights so make sure you read the licensing rights and usage and whatnot but yeah the one i'm using right here it's it came with clip studio paint ex let's see here okay we're gonna put that there and i'm gonna move his hand down because i just even though even though 
the 3D model's like, hey, it goes right here. I'm like, I get it, but my brain doesn't like it, so we're gonna move it. Why? Because I can. I'm gonna do what my brain likes to do. I'm on a journey to heal my inner me. Kayla, hi, beautiful people. Hi, Kayla. Gel, I love 3D models. They help a lot, and they are so fun to use. As long as you're happy, Fudda, you are happy. I'm happy for you. I am happy for you. That hand's too big. I'm going to actually move it down here. Now, I know, like, the fingers don't go past the crotch to a certain degree on some humans. So, that's kind of, like, what I like to do right there. But, again, I break my rules however I feel like it. <laughs> if I'm like, ooh, I think it would look better if I did. I'm like, alright, bet, let's do it. So again, it, I'm free to choose. I am the chaos bringer of my own world. And my chaos is my art. I know it doesn't make sense, but you know. I'm here for the freedom and the vibe of it. I haven't, I should have talked to my husband before I tipped on. Hey, I have a question. How do I like, how do I draw like sword pointing at me? Some tips? Wait, why would you think I know how to draw a sword? <laughs> Why would you think I know how to draw a sword? Wait. Um, tips? Use perspective rulers? <laughs> or or get a picture of someone, or take a picture of yourself pointing something at yourself, <laughs> and then just, you can do that. I'm not good when it comes to tips on how to draw stuff. I am sorry, but yeah, definitely reference. Find a reference or take your own reference photo. Get you a butter knife and then, you know, look at that and, and maybe try to do that. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I don't know how to draw. I don't know how to do that off the top of my head. I'm sorry, but I definitely recommend reference. If you want, if you don't want, don't don't do it. You do whatever you feel comfortable with. Whatever makes you happy. Grim, hi. Hi Grim. Hello. Juice. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, that's good. I just, I just, I want his sleeves pudgier. I want them, do I want them pudgier or do I want them just down more? I think, I think, I don't like the cuffs. Yeah, I don't like the cuffs. I think I'll put them like this. Yeah, we're gonna take, I don't like the cuffs. I don't know why, but it's just like, I don't like them. We'll put that like that. Do I want that? I don't like that either. What cuff do I want? Where's my reference book? Oh, reference book. Here we are. What do you use to draw? What do you use to draw heart? I'm using Clip Studio Pay EX. And my display tablet is my Centweek. My Wacom display tablet. 24 inch HD Centweek. This book I got off of Amazon. I don't know how to pronounce the name, but here it is. And I'm gonna, I'll post it on my, I need to make an Amazon storefront so that you guys can see like the books that I use. But yeah. Broken. Hey, Broken. Hello. Ooh, I like how this sleeve looks. It has the ruffles. Okay, um, it has the ruffles. Kirby, love the hair. Thank you. <laughs> I got it off of Amazon for like $16. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to. Hopefully, the, the signal is still showing excellent. OMG, I love him from your webtoon. You like Jay Han? Yeah, he's, he's my little sad, sad, anxious boy. He uses he uses his don't care persona. Per oh, that's what it is. I need it over the wrist. Aw, oh, man, I did all that work on that wrist, and now I've got to cover it up. Oh, well. You guys see. You guys see the hand there. So it wasn't it wasn't for, for waste. Is that a human? Nope, this is Wacom. <laughs> Oh, that book would be good to have. Yeah, it's really good. I love it. It has different outfits. Lots of different outfits. Different reference. Can any of your characters... That's a very weird question to ask, Grim. That's a very weird question to ask. Why would you ask that? <laughs> Why would you ask that? That's so strange. You guys are silly. You're being silly. Okay, and then I'm going to go like that. And I'm going to put it over... And then I'm going to put this here. Let me see. Okay, so it kind of like... I really want it like droopy. 
because he likes wearing comfy, cozy, cozy clothes. Like low energy type stuff. You know? That's that's Jay Huan style. I got volume one and volume two of your books. Getting volume three soon. Oh, I really hope you like it, DJ. They're they're all free to read online too. So there's there's definitely no pressure to to buy any of my books. They're all free to read online. Cause I know what it's like not having the monies for stuff, so no pressure. But thank you. I really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Do you have a link to the book? Um, I have this the, for this book. I don't have a link, but I wanna um, I wanna make a uh, Amazon storefront because I I literally got it off of Amazon, so I don't know how you can find it because it's all in the kanji. <laughs> so I'm so sorry, but I'll try to post up a link to it so you guys can like check it out too. It's I really like it. It's one of my favorite reference books. How do you study art? I mean, when you say study, what do you mean? Because for me, I draw comics. And some people would consider me just doing comics. Like, I have six published books. Some would say that that's me studying because, I mean, I am drawing <laughs> over and over and over. But other people would be like, no, that's not studying because you're not sitting and just drawing millions of sketches in your notebook. So, it depends on what your definition of studying is. For me, since I draw comics, that some people would consider that that studying. I'm just I just draw I just draw, and then I publish, and then I draw some more comics, and then I publish those. <laughs> You're the ultimate art comrade, hey comrade. <laughs> what is some advice to give to someone who wants to start a webtoon? Kirby, um, some advice. It just kind of depends because I'm not really sure what kind of advice you're looking for. But if I were to talk to younger me and younger me was asking for advice based off of where I'm at now and where I want younger me to also kind of be at, you know, if the situation is still the same. I tell younger me to do what makes you happy. Don't break any copyright laws, of course. Not that I have, but just do what makes you happy. Do what fills you with joy because that helps Younger sharing it helps with your artist block when you are actually doing what makes you happy and creating in a way that makes you happy. So if you want a webtoon and you want to do a webtoon idea and you're like, hey, but older sharing, this webtoon is already done. And I'll tell younger sharing, you didn't do it. You didn't do it yet. You're allowed to partake in the story. Do you enjoy that story? Yeah, then that's enough reason for you to do it. So that's my tip that I would have for younger Shireen. If there's a story idea you want to do that makes you happy, do what makes you happy. So yeah, that's I don't know if that helped. <laughs> Joshua, hi. Oh, for sure, making a comic is definitely studying. Okay, good. P cool. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> DJ never, I'm using them for my book collection. I mean, I have an art hoarding addiction too, so uh, we, we, we are the same. <laughs> Let's see, Asandra, how did you learn to draw wrinkles in clothes? I saw a DeviantArt tutorial and this person was saying they do this, they do this, and then they do like, they do like something like, like that. So I was like, oh, that's like a V, a U, and a W. So that's just what I do. <laughs> and then, you know, of course, when you look at your own sleeve, but I can't see the lines when I'm looking at my own sleeve, which makes it hard. So I'm like, well, I know it bunches up and wrinkles at the armpit because, you know, the, the texture. So, yeah, I just do, I do U's and I do W's and then I just, I do random stuff. Just something like that. Use W's and L's. And then whatever other letter. <laughs> I don't know if that's helpful for that, but that's how I do wrinkles in my clothes. That's how I do wrinkles in the clothes. And then over the years, I just got a little bit more chaotic with it. And just a little bit more like, ah, that's good enough. To where just something, you just have a little fun and just something magical happens. A happy little accident, as Bob Ross would say. Blech, this water is so boring and disgusting. Mask, Hello! I started writing the background for my comic idea. You inspired me a lot. Oh, yay! Your, your avatar looks familiar. I think I saw one of your comments on my videos. Here's a heart for you. Good job. Good job. I'm so, I'm so excited for you. Good job. Asandra, thank you. You're welcome. 
<laughs> okay. Now we need to do, I want, what I want is one of these things for like his collar. If you're wondering why I keep looking over here, I had TikTok live going <laughs> at the same time as my YouTube videos. But what I want is like the little collar thing with like the lines, you know, that's what I want. But my brain can't visualize it. So I'm going back to my reference book. And it's like, if you just looked at a real life person, that's not how my brain wants to do it. Ah, here we are. Something like this. You can't see it, but something like this. I'm going for this. I'm trying to talk to both TikTok and the YouTubes. But yeah, I want something like that. But I want it open. S Ooh, I like that. Okay, okay. We're going to do something here. We're going to pudge this out. Like so. And then we're going to put a line here. Something like that. Like that. Yeah, like that, because it got to go over, so I need to curve it. Like that. Okay. Wait a second. Wait a second. Do I want to give him a turtleneck? Hmm? What was that noise? Hold on. Let me see if they got sweaters. Do they got sweaters or jackets up in here? Oh, you do. Cardigans. Ahaha. <laughs> okay. 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 So, let me flip. I'm going to go... We're going to do something like this. It goes down and it goes down. And you know what? I think I'm going to have, I think I'm going to have his pockets, his hands in his pockets of his cardigan. Yeah, I like that idea. I did all that work on these hands. Oh, well. And then we're going to put the little line things here. Punch that out. Looking at the reference here. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Good morning. Good morning to you too. My something like that. Exactly. <laughs> Girl, what is that reference book? Where'd you get it from? I got it off of Amazon. I'll try to make... I need to... That's my goal today. I need to make an Amazon page, and I'll link it on my website. Um, I have it linked in my bio, or it's s Machita Studio, and I'll make sure I'll put this reference book there so that you guys can see it, so you guys can find it, because it's the best. I love it. But this is what it is if you want to do, like, an image search. This is what it is. It has a bunch of... Blah clothing references and I love it because it's already a 2D animation so 2D cartoon style manga style whatever and it's I love it I love it all things K hi 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 <laughs> hi 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 I wasn't expecting anybody to join the live yay you guys make me happy and help boost my ego so thank you you guys are helping to create a monster no take backs no leaving Let's draw. You know what? I think I'm too chaotic to try to be like Bob Ross, but I would love to be able to inspire how Bob Ross used to inspire. Okay. You know, I would love to be able to do that, you know? But I just, I'm so chaotic. And my sense of humor is so weird. And I'm a brat, but I'm also very humble, and I cry easy. You know, so it's just, hola, hi, Marina, hello, it's beautiful, thank you, thank you, Crystal, <laughs> let me move my, speak, move down, speaker, move down, there we go, there we go, what was I doing, what was I saying, yeah, I would like to be able to just give someone happy, happy vibes, just because it's like, you know, I'm not a very selfless type person. It's just I would want to be given happy vibes. <laughs> so it's a very selfish reason. It's a very selfish reason. But nonetheless, it's my reason. So that's my goal. That's what I'm trying to do. And then this actually shows, like, you don't have to put all the lines there. You can give it, like, a whisper. It gives it, like, that essence. Oh. Like how abstract art is. It makes your brain do the rest of the work. I like that. So we just we just put just a couple of lines just to give it. So we'll put some. It's showing in this reference book lines like this. And then there's no more lines after that. There might be like one above this one. But just like abstract art. You just kind of. You just kind of put a blob there, and then the brain puts the rest there. I like that. Let the brain do the work. The brain's very smart. 
let's help the brain just like here brain fill the rest of this out <laughs> and the brain we like bet i'm gonna fill the rest of this out so i just gotta put a couple lines there and the brain will fill out the rest i like i like that okay i'm gonna add some more right there okay i don't like how many wrinkles this has so i'm actually gonna take away some wrinkles i don't like how many wrinkles that one has so i'm gonna actually take away some okay we're going to need to make that one kind of pudge down. I don't know. And then go like that. This heater is hot. Tommy! Hello! Hi! <laughs> you sound really kind. Really? I appreciate that because I heard, because you know, someone else said that I, I sound like a narcissist. So I appreciate that you just say I sound kind because I'm like, wait, how did, it, how did, what, did I, what? So thank you. And then I have other people say that I sound like a horse and someone else says that I sound like a crackhead. So it's just like... There's lots of different things that you guys are, labels you guys are giving me. And I'm not sure what to do with this. So I'll just put it over here. But I like that you said that, so I'm going to take that. <laughs> How many comics do you, have you made? I've made a total of six. I have a three volume book, Love, Love, Fighting. And then I have Catch Me, Five Me, Love Me. And then I have School Memories. And then I have my omnibus book that has all three in one of love love fighting so i'm about six and then i'm working on my seventh one whisper cinnamon this looks so cool thank you tell me thank you thank you thank you thank you <laughs> okay i got distracted sorry let's do the other side of the shawl thingamabob where are you here we are okay so the other side is going to be this i put the buttons on the wrong side oh well He's wearing this kind of sweater where the buttons are on the other side. It's like, that's not the type of sweater that they wear. This is the type of sweater he wears. Like, you could just fix it. I could, but I don't want to right now. I don't want to right now. I'll probably do it later. But it's not going to kill me. I'm not going to get in trouble with nobody. No, you sound like a cute anime character. Really? <laughs> They said I sound. See, you guys are nice to me. Thank you. So the TikTok said I sound like a cute anime character. <laughs> I need to call my sisters. I need to tell them, hey, you haven't been appreciating my voice. You've been getting anime girl all these years. You guys have been appreciating it. Someone likes my voice. <laughs> so thank you. You also have really pretty hands. Really? You guys, I'm vain. I hate these things. These things. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. That makes me happy. I'm going to be so vain. But I'm so, I'm humble. I'm so humble. So humble. I'm so humble. So don't worry. Yeah, yeah. Well, sick. That's awesome. How you find the time? Um, it depends. Some days I won't work at all, and other days I just feel like just working. So I kind of work when, I don't know. Some, I mean, taking 10 minutes and allowing myself to be okay with, hey, every little step is a little step towards my goal. And if I'm not feeling it, I'm not going to joke. <laughs> I'm not that type of artist anymore to where she's like, we grind and we gotta grind hard. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm just gonna just do my thing when I feel like doing the thing. But calendar blocking, working 10 minutes, and allowing myself to be like, good job, you did five minutes. Let's go eat some nachos, you know? But that's me. That's me. Because being a mom of three and then trying to find time to do something... It's like, where is the time? You know? Where is it? So don't don't beat yourself up if you don't if you can't find time. It is okay. It is okay. You you got this. You're good. Have fun. No pressure. No pressure. No pressure. I'm on TikTok and YouTube at the same time. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> I'm still that artist. <laughs> You guys are so sweet. <laughs> Rory, you're just too adorable. Chocolate, you adorable. What you mean? What you mean? You adorable. My spelling is not good. My spelling's not good either, so no judgment over here. No judgment from me. I had this friend many, many years ago, 
And I remember, um, cause they were living with us, cause you know their their family was going through some situations or whatnot. And he, I was trying to have him write something on my bedroom door with chalk, and but he didn't know how to spell a certain word. And other people made fun of me for not knowing how to spell like prayer or whatever, cause I couldn't tell the difference between like, well, what prayer? P R A Y or pray P R. E Y and I asked him like which one is which and they're like you don't know which one's which I was like no I don't know which one is which you gonna tell me or you just gonna make fun of me and they're like you should know I'm like that doesn't answer my question which one is it you should already know so I'm like you know forget it I'm gonna find a dictionary and I'm gonna have the dictionary tell me because obviously you don't want to tell me instead you want to make me feel bad so my friend he was like I don't know how to spell this word I'm like that's okay you ain't got to know how to spell that word it's okay I know what you was trying to spell here's a little trick on how I remember how to spell the word friend F R I and then you put the end because fry end friend end there you go and it's okay if you forget again I'll help remind you and I won't make fun of you I definitely projected all of my feelings <laughs> onto him because someone was making fun of me you ain't know how to spell it now no I don't tell me if not, I'm going to find a dictionary and do, find it out myself. And I'm never asking you again. I was a very chaotic child. And my chaos has carried over to my adult years. But now I'm an anxious, chaotic adult. It is hot in my office. Hello. I'm back. Welcome back, DJ. Hello, kind. It's nice to hear an artist that I look to for help with comic stuff to say, take your time with... Yeah, take your time. Take your time. It's not a race. You want to know one of the things that I noticed about comics? A lot of it has to deal with luck for me. A lot of it dealt with luck. Like my comic school memories, I had made that comic years ago. And like, what was it? Maybe like two or three years ago, someone else noticed it. And they offered me a one-year contract to have them publish it and have it in comic book stores. And I was like, wow, time is irrelevant. Have fun. I love that comic and I have so much fun with that comic. And it's like, ooh, being able to have fun with my stuff makes me want to do it more. But you do whatever you want to do. I don't know your life, but, but you know, if we, we're going to vibe over here and chill just for like 10 minutes. You can just chill, chill with me for like 10 minutes and just draw. That's the same way I spell friend. Yeah, see? <laughs> DJ! Hi, DJ. <laughs> Hi. Okay. I think I got the sleeve. I'm gonna put. Oh, I like, I like, I like. Okay, I'm gonna put this down here. Like that. I'm gonna lower this. And I'm gonna put this like that. And then make this one pudge out. So I pudge it out like just like that. A C. We're gonna put a C here. We're gonna put a C there. And then we're just gonna put it like a little, like, loopy thing like there. And then. We'll just do this thing with the lines. <gasps> Scooby. And then we'll put this here. And then we'll do these pockets. This thing has this pocket. The little pocket like that. And then it goes... Oh, it's a curved pocket. I like the curved pocket. We'll put that there. Okay, and then we're going to ink it in. <laughs> we're going to ink this in. What time is it? Oh, okay, I got time. I got time. Um, I'm trying to debate if I want to give give like the actual shawl itself like that ribbed effect like it has in this book what's that oh, okay and then the little slots are like how many hold on hold on okay put a slot here put a slot here one here one here one here and one here okay that's what that has okay and then we just put lines boom boom Boom, 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 boom. Because it's a cardigan. <laughs> it's a cardigan. It's a cardigan. Okay, we don't need that anymore. We'll put that back. I need to put... I have my books just scattered throughout my whole entire office. I need to I need to fix that up. Yummy, yummy, yummy. So, my idea... I, I'm just jumping from topics. I'm sorry. But any hoodles, I have like this idea that I want to do for a YouTube series. Because, you know, I finished my Webtoon background series. And I haven't posted much on YouTube since then. I've just been doing live streams. But I want to do another series. Like, by series, like another like 56 videos or so. Um, and I want to do like 
like how to make a webtoon and just show like my process from start to finish, you know, kind of like, you know, the stages or something like that. I don't know. I really don't know how to create any of this stuff, but some of the like commonly asked questions and like issues and then just like, just how I do it so that if someone's like, Hey, I'm, I'm, I want to make a webtoon for a school project, or I just want to make a webtoon for fun. I want these videos to be able to help be like a step-by-step -step guide for them. And like, I want to have them be like short videos because I get overwhelmed easy. So I want to make sure I have them short and I give them like actionable steps at the end so that they can apply. And, and I don't know. I don't know. It's an idea that I had. So, so yeah, that, that's what I wanted to do. Okay. This, I totally ignored my blue line sketch that I had there. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oops. Missed the comment. Oh, no, I didn't. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. Um, we're putting the crotch down lower. Put it this way. Put the shirt down lower. I don't know. Put a line there. <laughs> I don't know. I just winging it. I, I'm winging it. Okay, and then we do that, we do that, something like that. I want to make it easier for myself when I'm inking. I don't want to be like, Shreem, what is this line? I don't know. I was in the moment, I just put it there. Then, girl, if you don't... I want to put the you there. I want a you there. Let me just put the you there. Okay. And... Yeah, j Hwan likes to wear baggy clothes. When he wants to show off to Oriana, then he's going to wear tighter clothes. <laughs> he wants to show off his back. Show off his body for Oriana. <laughs> so that's what I have. I finally talked my husband into wearing like tighter shirts. I'm like, ha ha, I see your back. He's the best. It's for our art reference purposes only. Art, art reference purposes only. I'd love to watch that YouTube series. You would? Okay, yeah. So then I could definitely do that. I could definitely do that. How long have you been drawing for? Um, this is what I drew back when I was 15 years old. So it depends on what you would consider the start of me drawing. But I drew this when I was 15. I drew, I drew like just random stuff when I was 15. So I don't, it depends on what you, what you would consider an age of drawing, you know, cause I, I was drawing also when I was five. I had a, I had like that Lisa Frank, you know, like aesthetic, and I loved pressing the crayons down really hard to like draw the outlines, you know, with the with the monkeys. So I, it depends on what you would consider, what age you would consider like drawing. <laughs> And then we're gonna do the shoes like that. Gonna do the shoes and then what do you have? You have something like that. Shoelaces. I don't know what I'm doing. That's alright. Let's just have fun. Okay. That I can do. I'm getting better at that. <laughs> Get better at actually having fun, allowing myself to have fun and not beat the crap out of myself with negative internal <laughs> dialogue <laughs> oh my gosh that was mean to myself i realized i've been mean to myself i need to be nice to me or so i'm just gonna end it all so i'm you know i gotta be nice to me <laughs> that's the same way i spell friend too how long oh i already read that sorry okay making sure i didn't miss any comments okay we're good we're good we're good Go up like that, go up like that, go up like that, I don't know, go up like that. Now, reverse, reverse, reverse. I lost track. <laughs> I lost, I lost, I lost it. That's good enough. I got a brush for that. Okay. So, we're actually going to separate that. And then, 
put that and then shadow shadow like that okay <clears throat> sorry that was loud i saw a t i saw a tip to just draw the outline of the laces and go back it with shading that's how i draw laces now oh that's how you draw laces cool that's cool some of people have so many different like ways of drawing stuff so that's awesome that's awesome you do what works best for you you know you know so i like i like to see artists doing and creating however they like it's like so like inspired especially like when you because my daughter she's she really loves to draw so i just love seeing her just creating and just drawing it and not beating herself up you know being like oh it doesn't look good no honey you it looks amazing do you like it are you happy yeah I'm so happy because that's the hardest thing to do is to be happy. To be happy with what you've done. To be happy with, with what you created. I know for me, it's very hard for me to be happy with what I've done or what I created. Because I invalidate myself a lot. Because I have, I have a lot of internalized invalidation from other people <laughs> that i heard over the years. So yeah. Sorry, I'm not as talkative. Hello, I'm drawing too. You don't have to talk. It's fine. I got plenty of words to say, so... <laughs> I'm quite chaotic and quite, quite, and it's weird. I'm only a chatterbox if I'm in my room by myself talking to people on those social media. But if I have someone else join my stream, I can't, I get exhausted talking. But if I'm just talking by myself, it's like, hey, this is easy. I could do this. I can do this. Just trying to clean up Jay Juan's jaw so I can make sure when I ink it in. I have exactly what I want. But yeah, draw with me. <laughs> draw with me. She's actually gotten so good at drawing people. Oh, I have a daughter too. She loves watching me <laughs> and trying to copy. That's so sweet. That's so sweet. She's like, oh, that's sweet. I like that you are encouraging her to do what she likes. That's sweet. I'm here for it. That looks so good, OMG. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll put this here. I'll zoom in once I start the inking one. Right now we're just... We getting the vibe set, you know? I need to zoom in because it's eyes. I love drawing eyes, so I'm very picky about the eyes. And by picky, it's just like, ah, we just got to do it like this. You know? Hi, I just want to say I love your hair. It looks amazing. I like your style too. Thank you, Diane. I got it off of Amazon for like $16 or $22. I loved it. I want to find another pink curly wig. But I'm here for the vibes. But thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Put that there. I love this eyelid thing. Why? I don't know. I like it. It's like it looks it's like that. Like a W. A Y. Oh my god. On the side. <laughs> Please don't listen to the people who invalidate you. You just know that I really love your art. Thank you, Fox. Thank you. See, I appreciate your guys' affirmations because my internal, I'm trying to get better at um, validating myself, you know? And I think I'm getting better. But, you know, I, I also want to make sure that I'm being, like, um, having an open mind to still, like, soak up and learn, you know? So I appreciate that. I appreciate it. It helps. It helps. It's a healing process for me, you know? Art is like therapy for me. It helps me heal. From all the years of poison, this is my therapy. My antidote. We got to clean this stuff out. And get back to what I meant to do which is for me I think my life purpose is to be happy to do what makes me happy I know other people be like no your life purpose is something else like who are you to tell me what it is <laughs> it's gonna be this I'm gonna be a cat and cats just be chilling I'm gonna be a mongoose a meerkat I'm gonna be a meerkat and just chill and vibe and just be happy you know? And that's very hard to do. Some people be like, that's easy. <laughs> For me, it's very hard to be happy. So, I find it a very big accomplishment if I'm able to be happy. Like, haha, look at this. I'm happy. I did it. It was hard, but I did it. Let's 
do it again another day. And it helps give you purpose, you know, meaning to continue on each day. Because your girl, she gets sad and dark. So this helps. It's like, well, go to therapy. Honey, I'm getting help too, but this is also helpful for me. This is also helpful for me. Let me do what I do. I'm good. I just sharing with you. I just sharing. It's like maybe you shouldn't share. Well, yeah, I'll worry about that later. It's too late. You guys are already here. I'm sharing. <laughs> I'm sharing. Any tips on line art? Mine always looks uninteresting. You think mine looks interesting? Really? Does mine look interesting? Hold on. Does mine look interesting? You guys, do you guys think mine mine looks interesting? Really pretty art. Really? Do you guys think that my lines look interesting? So beautiful. I'm curious. Do you take drawing courses or are you self-taught? It depends on what you consider drawing courses and self-taught. But no, I don't take any drawing courses because I don't have money. <laughs> so I use reference. Reference. I use 3D models. I will use sticks, dirt, and rocks to create whatever I want to create. And that's how, and that's, that's what I do. <laughs> Love your hair. Yes, it is interesting. I love the cat mentality. I should be more cat-like too. Cats are awesome. It is? You guys really think it is? Oh, cool. Well, what I do for my line art, I just, it. I change it depending on how I'm feeling. I use a lot of like default brushes, but I don't know how to, this is what I did to make it, I don't know how to explain how to make it interesting. I'm not a very good art teacher, as you can see. <laughs> But if you want to use the brush that I'm using, I'm literally using the mechanical pencil. And I have the stabilization down to like the bottom one for my mechan for my like rough drafts. And I'm just chaotically putting stuff there. So yeah, that's that's my tip is uh uh to use your brushes. Huh. I got it, I got it, I helped them. You see I helped them. Oh, oh, wait, wait, somebody, somebody said on TikTok, uh, Mass Marie, she said, or they said, I would say watch Lavender Town's videos. She gives tons of good advice. So if you are more of the academic type person to where you need like, do this kind of instruction, cause I'm not a very, you must do this, you must do that type person. Um, you might want to check out different art, uh, YouTubers. And someone had recommended Lavender Town. She gives instru like stuff, <laughs> tips on line art. So thank you, thank you, Marie. So Marie on TikTok, she she suggested that. So yeah. So I'm sorry if, if what I said is not helpful. But yeah, <laughs> we are the poor gang. <laughs> You're actually a really good art teacher, really. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. People in the comments help help give tips because your girls, like, do what you like. <laughs> and it's like, that's not helpful, Sherry. I'm like, I'm sorry. <laughs> help me. <laughs> help me help them. Because everybody learns differently, you know? Like, for some people, they're more of, like, the vibe type artists. Their brain can't really function on structure and this. It must be this. It must be that kind of thing. You know, their brain more so functions on, I see it and I'll just draw what I see. And then other people need like the structure or need like a formula, a formula on things like almost like a mathematical formulation. They need that for certain things. So you got to do what works best for your brain. There's nothing wrong with your head if you're not able to pick up something a specific way someone else is saying or a specific way someone else says you should do or they do. You do what's best for your brain. Or don't do whatever you want, but I'm going to do what's best for my brain. <laughs> I'm going to be free and do what's best for me. Because for me, there is not one way to do art. There is many different ways. Just like there's many different ways to crack an egg. I could throw it on the ground, you know. Or I could crack it with a fork. Or with potatoes. There's many ways to cook a potato. You can chop it, boil it, put it in a stew, you know. Be the potato. Create like the potato. If you want or don't, do what you want to do. Do what you want to do. 
is helpful. We had the same process for the line art. <laughs> yeah, not alone. There's others like me. Okay, we'll put this here. Because I had it on the other sketch. Okay. And then we'll put this here like that. I like giving Jaehwan like a wide nose, you know? There's always multiple ways to do things. Exactly. Exactly. It's just like with like, you know, Marvel and like, what's his name? What's his name? What's his name? The wizard guy. <laughs> Hold on. What's his name? Doctor Strange. All like the different universes, not universes, but like different timelines or whatever. There's so many different out outcomes to like a similar but different path, you know? And I'm 30, you know, 30 plus, 33, about to be 34. And I'm now, I've become more curious now than ever. I'm like, I wonder what is going to happen. I'm done living in fear and being like, no, I shouldn't do this because of that. What if this happens? Or what if I never this? Or what if I never that? I'm so tired of the what ifs. At least when it comes to my art. I'm like, I want to see what happens. You know what? I want to see what happens. What if I actually do like let myself draw using whatever tools are available legally. <laughs> you know, I'm going to see what actually happens instead of listening to people. It's going to become a crutch. All right, well, let me see if that actually happens. Because, I mean, unless you're Dr. Strange and you've looked into the future and you've seen that, you know. But even with that, you know, am I happy? You know? So, I'm going to I'm gonna see. I'm curious. So, I'm going to be the chaotic one. If you guys are like, no, I'm too scared because to try this thing, I got you. I'll do it for you by being the chaotic one and be like, I'm gonna, I'll go ahead and try it out. And then, like, once I get to us, I'm like, hey, guys, it's fine. We're good. Or I'm like, you know what? <laughs> Maybe try this other way. <laughs> like, I'll be like that. Like, we're just all on a journey together. And you have some that's like, hey, I'll, I'll, go, I'll go on this bridge. Or I'll go down this path and see what happens. And then, like, you phone them and be like, okay, yeah, there's, like, a big old bear. Like, on the left side. But if you, like, kind of, like, climb up the tree and jump over it, you should be good. I was unfortunate to where I had to, like, go through it. But, you know, climbing up the tree and over to get around the beer might help you. But do what you want. You know, it'll be like a fun little adventure, you know? Grumpy beer guy. <laughs> you know, but Jayhan, a little don't care beer. A little sad boy. Our sad boy who hides his pain and tries to numb it by pretending like he doesn't care. But he does. But it's easier to snuff out and numb the pain by pretending you don't. So that's what he does. He's our sad boy. <laughs> our sad boy. Also, if you guys want to have interesting backgrounds, check out SketchUp 3D. SketchUp's free 3D model library. Yeah, in their warehouse, SketchUp has some, Clip Studio Paint has some, um, Turbo Squid has some, um, Acon 3D has some. There's lots of different places to get, like, cool backgrounds. So thank you for sharing. Turbo Squid has some. The, my pin, the files that I use to import into Clip Studio Paint, because how I import 3D models into Clip Studio Paint, I go to file, import, and I just hit 3D data, and then I find my OBJ file, or my FBX file, or I'll just open up my finder window, find my file, and then just drag it onto the canvas and wait for my computer to pick it up, you know? So there's lots of different ways to put 3D files in Clip Studio Paint. And again, you don't have to use 3D files if you don't want to. You can do whatever you want to do, whatever makes you happy. Okay, perfect. <laughs> That's the bio. I <laughs> love Naruto. Such a little sweetie pie. Okay, I don't like this. I'm gonna give him black nail polish. Why? Cause I I, I like black nail polish. So he's getting black nail polish. Let me round out that nail a little bit more. Why? Cause I like it. Perfect. Perfect. I like. What y'all think? Y'all like? Can you see? You like? Let me... This goes here. Okay. Perfect. And then let's go ahead and just... Just for the sake of the sketch, let's go ahead and just... 
add the black lines. I'm just scribble, scribble, scribble very lightly. Scribble, 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 scribble. Scribble, scribble, scribble. It's like that was a morph to the head. I like it. I like it. It's okay. Breathe. We're no longer in school anymore. We're not going to get in trouble or fail. We could just do what we like. You know? Gina, silly question, but I know you mentioned a lot of romance story ideas you get are from you and your husband. Is your husband Korean like your OC is? No. <laughs> he not. He not. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. It's interesting, though, when you, like, write romance stories and stuff. Because I know the author Svet Svetlana. I'm probably saying her name wrong. A lot of people thought that her comic was actually based off of, like, a situation that happened at, like, a comic convention, I think it was. And she was like, no, it's it's just, it feels real, but it's... The, there is no person there, you know, there's she's not in an actual she wasn't in an actual relationship. It's just interesting, you know. I wonder if I did like a comic of a dark romance story, you know, about a serial killer or something. I wonder if people would like wonder if it's like, hey, is your husband a serial killer? It's like, no, but if I would have lots of like lots of like scary thriller reference, but thank god he's not. Because I can't handle, I don't want to handle that. I don't want to deal with that. I'd rather just separate the, I'd rather just watch it in a movie than have to experience that. Like, I enjoy dark romances. But I don't want to live it. <laughs> I don't want to live it. No, no, no. Do you have a recommendation for a stylist? I got one from Target and the tip was too big. So, with stylus, I use lots of different ones. I got this one off of Amazon. It has like the fat the fat point one if you want like a stylus that's like this you know it's like a pin pin um what's it called add add donut where is it i have to on my website if you type in stylus i have like a link to all the different type of um alternative stylus that actually have like sharper pin tips but add donut a d O N I T, I think <laughs> they have a lot of like really nice stylus. I lost mine, or my daughter stole it, so I'd show it to you, but I don't have it. And then also, Wacom has like its own like pin stylus too that you can use on other tablets and whatnot. But yeah, oh no, not the cereal getting killed. <laughs> or you watch a lot of true crime stuff, <laughs> exactly, exactly. But yeah, I get a lot of people who do ask, like, about about my husband and whatnot. And they'll ask, like, if he's Japanese. So it's not a silly question. I can definitely see why. Because my sisters will definitely end up asking, like, someone that question as well. So it's not a silly question as all, at all. Questions help us to gain knowledge. Knowledge is power. Power helps us to take over and control things. Not that we're going to, we're just, you know, gathering knowledge for knowledge's sake, you know? Because we're curious, we're just curious. But just so that you know, knowledge is power, so... We will continue to gather knowledge, for knowledge's sake. For knowledge's sake, that's all. Okay, that's good enough. Stop messing with the shoulder. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. I'm gonna bring this up some more. And I'm gonna bring this up some more. Okay, I'm nitpicking at this now. We're gonna go ahead and start inking in it. If the romance I write was real, my husband would be an elf, elven prince. <laughs> That's cute. Like Legolas. Legolas. But yeah, with the situation with uh, my story, when we, me and my husband first got married, he had asked, I had asked him because I wanted to get to know him. I was like, hey. What, what makes you upset? What bothers you? Let me into your emotional, you know, triggers or emotional. Like, how are your emotions? How is the, how is the you inside of you, you know? He's like, nothing bothers me. 
So I took that idea and I'm like, I want to turn it into a comic. And that's where Jayhan and Oriana came from. Yep, that's where they came from. Because I'm like, I don't believe that. Nothing bothers you. This is when we first got married, like 13, 14 years ago. It's going to go be 14, I think, in March. But yeah, this is when we first got married. I'm like, I don't believe that. I was, yeah, I was like, I don't believe that. I don't believe that. Yeah, how does one obtain a husband? Ah, yes, how does one obtain a husband? I was eating chicken. I, okay, let me tell you the story, because he tries to tell the story differently, and I'm like, okay, no. You're, he not telling the story right, you know? So, when I first saw him, he was dressed up, you know, he had the suit, and the, he had the tie. I was dressed up. I had the, the, the swirl curls. I had a white cardigan, you know? I, I had, I was looking the way my mom and other people were saying that a young lady should be looking. You're not going to get anyone's attention if you're looking how, while willy-nilly or whatever. So I was like, okay, bet. I'm going to look the part. I'm going to dress up. And I saw him sitting there and I tried to initiate conversation by walking past him and be like, oh, excuse me. He never looked at me once. He didn't look at me once. He was like, he's like, you're fine. And he was still looking forward. He didn't, he, my voice didn't even make him turn around and look at me. Because I was like, okay, maybe I can get my voice to make him look at me. The voice didn't work. The outfit didn't work. The voice didn't work. Nothing worked. So I'm like, forget this. I'm done. I give up. You know? So, like, maybe like a day later or whatever, I was eating. I just came back from, like, uh, from work. And my sister, oh my gosh, she was like, you need to be up at the church. I'm like, dang, can I just go home and sleep? I just got off off work I'm sweaty I got this orange shirt on that's too small and that's raggedy and I got this big old black coat on so I look like a I look like a a Baymax character and my hair's all flying all over the place and I'm sweating can I go home now nah, you need to be here sounds like man I can't wait till I move out so I ain't gotta deal with her being like you need to be at church so anyways I got up to the church and they were having like um lunch so they were like serving chicken and stuff and I was still like a sweaty mess so I went there I got me my plate of chicken I had a stank attitude because I was tired exhausted it was cold outside and I was hot and my hair was looking a hot mess so I'm like I don't care anymore I don't care <laughs> I'm looking however I feel like looking and wouldn't you know it a certain someone was just staring directly at me he was in the line to get the chicken he was just staring at me I'm, I mean I was smashing on that chicken I was like arr, 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 and I had it like cheeks full of food because I was hungry I just I just finished working at the hospital and I'm like you know I got food in my mouth I'm looking up at him and I'm like confused and agitated like who is is he looking at me and I looked around while still chewing and biting on the chicken to make sure you know to see I'm like, maybe he's looking at somebody else. I can't see him. Like, whatever. Let me eat this chicken. I need some more hot sauce on my chicken. And I look back up, and he's still looking at me. And I'm like, why is he looking at me? And I'm looking a hot mess, and he got a smile on his face. Why you notice me now? Why you notice me now? But, I, you know, yeah. that's So that's what I did. I ate chicken, and boom, he noticed me. <laughs> I had chicken stuffed in my face and, and grease and everything and messed up hair and all that. And it's like, oh, who's that? <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> that's 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 how I obtained that. <laughs> Sammy, hi there. Had a question about drawing buildings in manga style comics using 3D models. Have you ever used real pictures then converted them into line work? Yeah, yeah, definitely. When I first um, started using clip studio paint like back in 2007 maybe even later than that 2006 maybe they didn't have a lot of 3d model features so they had like the snap to panel rule and then they also had it to where you can use photos and import them so i would put the rulers down and i would just trace over the photos that i had whether i took a photo around me or whatnot um, or whether I found a photo in a magazine. Don't break copyright laws. <laughs> this was years ago. But yeah, to answer that question, yep, I did that. I used, I, you can, and you can definitely do that now. They have, like, a lot of features now to do that. So I can do that with another video. That could probably be one of my, one of my, um, hold on, let me see. Here we are. For my comic... 
Battled Prince. I saw, you can't see it, but for my comic Battled Prince, I saw a picture online, and then I just, like, I just drew over top, not draw over top of it, but I just used it as reference, I guess you could say. I used it as reference, because, you know, and then I just drew my character in it. So this is, you can't see it, but, yeah, this panel right here, this is back when I was first, like, doing, like, fully digital comics. But yeah, so that's what I mean. And then you can find some manga cos on YouTube where they also share their process on how they utilize their photos that they take and draw over top of that. There's lots of different ways to create. So yeah, I hope that helps. Patrice, happy early anniversary. Thank you. <laughs> the sass in the story, I love it. <laughs> exactly, it was crazy. It was crazy. I was like, why? So I, I gave it another shot. I'm like, okay, I'm going to dress up again. And it's like, girl, you was looking a hot mess. He obviously don't care. You putting in all this work. He don't care. <laughs> like, no, nah, I'm going to dress up again and really give a good impression like it was supposed to. Properly. Properly. You can use this. Oh, someone also said, uh, Maria also said you can use uh, Sims, the game for inspo on backgrounds. So, and then also there's, um, like, 3D architect apps that you can also use that th also I learned from another mangaka that they were showing like how they use that so there's as artists we are creative problem solvers just don't break any copyright laws so make sure you read the terms of services and usage you know Patrice same I'm going to try an easy recipe from a channel I follow Ooh, I always wanted to try the yeah the Korean chicken yeah oh my god it looks so good it looks delicious it looks delicious. You know what? I want his eyes to be a little bit more rounder. Just to kind of give it like still that childlike look. Not childlike, but like he still has a little bit of happiness in him. He's just extremely sad boy. So, something like that. Yeah, something like that. And then we'll adjust when we get to the inking portion. Because we're going to zoom up real close when we do the inking. Because it helps me not to feel overwhelmed. Oh, you know what? Let me show you guys another tip that I found many years ago many many years ago so here's my 3d model that I use for this pose I use a 3d model for this pose as well but here's the 3d model that I use for this one I'm gonna move it over so I'm gonna select my layer I'm just gonna move it give it a second it's thinking okay I'm gonna move it right there now, with 3D models in Clip Studio Paint, like the actual, like, people models, I love this feature that it has. If I uncheck this red box right here, well, this red X, I uncheck it, the, the rulers show up. So I can legit draw in perspective of the, the character that I have. So if you, say, are trying to draw a background and you're like, I can't get my characters to, like, not look like they're floating in the background... You can utilize a 3D model and you can draw within perspective of the character. See? And like I could legit make a background with the character in it. Boom. Oops. Sorry. I hit the thing. We'll just, you know, let me hide this. But see? You can literally draw in perspective of the character with this, with the 3D, with the little ruler selected. See, these are the rulers. It's really cool. You know, you still would have, like, the whole proportion thing and, like, making sure, you know, it lines up. Nah, do whatever you want to do. It makes you happy. But that's a really cool feature that Clip Studio Paint has. So if I want to draw my character and if I want to draw my character, if I want to pose my 3D model and I want to add a background and I want to do a background from scratch they, they have a ruler, ruler available built in that matches the perspective of the 3D model 
I said the sentence, yay! <laughs> I said the sentence, I said it, I said it. I'm terrible with my words. Okay, so this is what I, this is what I started. So I edited it. This was what I did a couple days ago, and then I just cleaned it up here. I cleaned it up here. My eyes are saying, do something here, and do something there, and then do something here. And then my eyes are saying, do something like that. And then, let me see, let me go like that. You guys make me jealous talking about chicken. I live in the mountains, and we have one restaurant. Oh my goodness, Finn! Oh no! <laughs> ah yes, background some scratch my weaknesses. <laughs> I was so excited when I found out about 3D models. Oh, you, let me show you guys some of the backgrounds that I did. Uh, that I used, I found reference for. Um, stock images for. And then I lined up my ruler to the stock image. And then I drew the rest of it, you know, on my own and styled it. So, this was like a regular looking library. I don't have the stock image anymore, but... So, just so that you know, I didn't I didn't steal the photo. I literally built it from scratch. I just needed the perspective angle. But I'm going to show you the image that I, that I did. How it turned out. That... And I used um, 3D... I used photos and just lined up the 3D model. Lined up the perspective ruler with it. Let me see if I can find it. Give me one minute. I'm pretty sure I downloaded it. Let me see. I want to see if I can open it up in Safari. Give me one second. What is that? Okay, perfect. I'm going to go here. Hopefully it does not lag. If it does, I am terribly sorry. I'm just trying to pull up my portfolio. Give me a second, it's loading. I shouldn't have, see I need to, this is what I get for, where is it? Now these backgrounds I did for um, apple cider vinegar, apple cider vinegar, for this group called Apple Cider for their visual novel. They had commissioned me to do these backgrounds. So I used a diff different um, image, different stock photos, lined up my perspective ruler, and then um, based off of their their information they gave me and what they were looking for, I built the 3D models uh, from from that. So I'm just going to drag them into my folder so that I can show it to you. And this is like my first like commission commission job for like backgrounds. I was just like so ecstatic. Let me see. Group by date created. Oh, jelly beans. Okay, here we are. Now open. Make you go down. You go away. Okay, perfect. So here, I use like different, this one was really hard because I had a certain idea in mind for the cave. YouTube is not receiving enough video to maintain stream as such. View. I'm sorry if it's lagging, you guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. I like your desktop picture. It looks tasty. I think I'm hungry. I haven't had a proper meal. But treat, you gotta eat something. <laughs> you gotta eat something. Go eat. <laughs> Hi, where did you find that model for the male neck and head? That one's actually from Acom 3D. I'm doing a um, sponsored tweet with them. I actually need to post that tomorrow. So, um, if you look on my Twitter, you'll see like what I've already done before, but um, but yeah, Acon 3D. That's from Acon 3D. They're really cool. They're really cool. Whoa, it looks amazing. You see it? Okay, perfect. So, um, this one was difficult because I had to learn how to do rocks. So of course I got, I got reference on how rocks look, and I realized that they have like a dark outline and then they have like a white front. What I was going for. So that's this one, and then this one. Again, since they had, um, 
since this was for their video game, they had like specific things that they wanted me to include. So I had to find a reference of a living room and then I literally had to just put everything else in there and add it. Cause there's no living rooms that have swords, so I had to like, I, I, I had to just build the rest of this from scratch. But at least I can get the perspective that I was going for. But yeah, so this, this, I put the rulers down. This is before I had my 3D models available. <laughs> And then this one, barn one, again, using reference, because I didn't know how a barn looks, so using a reference for a stable, built that. And then this one was the library one, again, using a reference. Doing these books took forever. Why? Because I didn't know about brushes when I was doing this. I learned how to do the reflection in the ground by multiplying, overlaying, and then, like, lowering the oak capacity. So I was very proud of the reflection. But yeah, stock photos. Put my perspective ruler over top of it and I constructed my own brand new background from this the photo that I used did not look anything like this I just needed I needed bookshelves in a library with the bookshelves like that so yeah that's that's what I did so anything is possible anything is possible with reference if you want if your brain is like mine and can't visualize you know but yeah let me go ahead and quit that Hopefully my stream is stops looking all laggy. That's so beautiful. The lighting is seriously impressive. Thank you. I, I was so stressed out while doing that. I was so stressed out while doing that. So I'm glad. I'm glad you guys like it. <laughs> okay. Now. <clears throat> I don't know if I want to ink it. How, what to, oh, it's 138. You guys, I got to get my kids here soon. <laughs> I have to get my kids since I... Okay, I actually have to hop off here soon. The library is so cool. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> but okay, so let's go ahead and... um While I'm wrapping up, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I... My whole process, how I got from this point. This is the old one. So this is what we, we finished this live stream. This is what we were able to finish. This is what we had at the start of the live stream. And this is what I was able to finish. I like it better. And then this is what I drew. Let me. This is what I drew back in October. Um, still using 3D models. Still same process. And then I just wanted to update it. So I put I have him facing forward instead of like you know facing the other way. Cause I, I you know it's a character sheet. I need to see his face forward. That's what I want. That's what I wanted to do. Do you have tutorials about clothes? I love the way you drew them. So with, with I can definitely do like a, a video on how to draw clothes or how I draw clothes. Uh, I use reference. So I'll try to remember to create an Amazon page or at least find the book, the link to this. But I use reference, this reference book to help me, to help me draw it. This is a reference book for those who want to know. But yeah, I'll try to link that, link that for you guys. But um, I saw a tutorial many years ago for like curves. I do like this, or I do this, or like this. It all depends. I'm very chaotic with it. <laughs> but reference helps. What was I saying? Okay. So here's the 3D model. This is one that I used. Let me take that off. I create a new layer, and I just traced over it. I got that, and I made another layer. Why? Because I like layers. <laughs> and then we got that. We colored all that in. I didn't like how I was looking. So, like many days later, I started this live stream, and we just we got that. And now I'm like, I like it better. I like it, and that's how we got to where we're at. The bear on the shoulder would make a great plushie. Yeah, that I mean that would be cool to be able to sell sell little plushies, but <laughs> it's hard enough trying to sell books. <laughs> I don't think I'll be able to sell plushies. Some days I won't make any book sales, and other days I'll make one book sale, which is a good day. So I don't think it'll be a smart idea for me right now to try to sell plushies, because that that's just a lot of money to try to do, and then you gotta market it. Maybe someday, maybe someday. Who knows? But yeah. That's what we did. That's what we did today. I hope you guys had fun. I like it. Thank you. <laughs> I hope you guys had fun. Start saying bye to me because I gotta go, but I don't want to go before until you guys say bye to me. So I'm gonna wait, and I'm gonna wait for you guys to say bye to me. 
Because I don't like ending stream without saying bye to you guys. Like, abruptly. I might change over, you know, the course of the years, depending on how often I, I do live streams. I might be like, ah, I'm just gonna go bye. But right now, you're saying, okay, bye guys! Bye! What is that? Gorski, bye Gorski, bye Gothic Angel! Bye bye! Bye Twit! What is that? Westria! Bye bye! Bye bye! You two say bye to me! Bye TikTok! Thank you guys, you guys are sweet. I had fun. Bye! Bye bye! I'll see you guys later. Tick, YouTube? Okay, Patri, okay. Thank you, Patri! Bye, Patri! Asandra, bye! Bye, Asandra, thank you. I want you guys, DJ, say bye to me. Arnell, say bye to me. Chocolate, say bye to me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No pressure, no pressure. <laughs> but thank you again so much for watching, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and go. I'll let you guys go. I'll stop harassing you. Okay, bye. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.